Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Kimberly and I'm a part-time reseller on a variety of platforms, including Poshmark, Mercari. Um, I sometimes do eBay and I send things into to thread up sometimes the real real very rarely and sometimes I do flip lots. So that's all the platforms that I typically use. Today we're doing something very different. We are doing an actual retail arbitrage haul and this is a haul from one store, just one store. And I wanted to talk about it. I want to show you what I picked up, talk about why. So let me show you which store it is. You may recognize this bag. You may not, but it's Athleta. Give me just one here. Let me show you. Luckily, my address is not on this because they actually shipped to my local post office. So it's an Athleta haul. And I went in. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So I went in at the beginning of February and apparently they had a big clearance sale they were doing and I have a credit card with them. So I also had like an additional discount that I could use because I'm a member and I was like, okay, cool. And it worked on, and it worked on clearance like whoop. So I decided, all right, let me go in. And I was like, I'm only going to pick up things that are in my size or larger. And since I wear about a size depend, depending anywhere from like an extra large to a 16, things like that, like, okay, I knew that I was gonna pick up things that I could potentially wear, 2X, things like that. So that was where I started. And then I was like, oh, I didn't get to go back before the sale ended in store. So that night I went online and I was like, I'm gonna see what they have online. Let's start with what I picked up in store and then I'll show you what I got online because I did buy this stuff to flip, but if some of these things work for me, that's awesome too, right? <laughs> so let's start with the stuff from in store. Up first, we have this gorgeous teal short sleeve collared linen shirt with tie front. It has like the, um, the it's almost like drawstring at the beginning. So this was originally $79 and it is the Playa tie top. Um, it was originally $79. It was marked down to $19.97 and then there was additional discount. I don't, I don't remember the discount. Um, if you're unfamiliar, here is the Athleta, the new, one of the newer Athleta logos. It's important to know that because there are different logo, there are different labels and new labels that they're not all like this either. So it's good to know what they look like. Anyway, I bought this thinking, well, I will try it on and if it works for me, awesome because I do end up at the beach often enough or in hot climates because I've lived in Texas and Florida. Um, I did a trip to the Bahamas for work and like, you never know. So I did pick this up thinking I will try it on. I haven't actually tried any of this stuff on and I'm not going to lie. I'm filming this in March. Um, I've had this stuff sitting in the bag since I got it at the beginning of February. I don't know why. I don't know. Like maybe the end of middle of February. Maybe I don't know. I'm, I am awful. <laughs> All right, next up we have leggings. Uh, these are, I'm gonna show you, so they have their tag. Um, these are originally $89. Uh, these are size 2X. These are the Athleta Elation Camo 7 8 tight. Now I'm gonna show you this interior label as well. I love these, I wear these all the time. These are like one of my favorite styles from Athleta. Um, not, not this print, but this particular style. I don't wear these very often though, because these only have the back pocket. Um, but my phone would actually fit in there. So, which is awesome. It is a very nice high rise or like high in the back kind of legging. And I love the seven eighths length. Now this is a really, really nice material. Like, wow. Again, these were, uh, $89 and this is a good color combination and print, which is a big reason I picked these up. I've actually sold these in a darker, a different color for 35. And I don't know, I need to look and see what my price was, but my price was about $14, maybe less. Actually, I'm pretty sure it was less. Um, one of the big reasons why I picked some of these things up is because once I did all the the math it was totally worth it so I was like yes okay I also I went in there for these this was a big reason I was going in there anyway I wanted clean out kits for thread up 
because I'm filming this on March 8th and on March 15th, they're switching over to an entirely non uh, all consignment model instead of uh, upfront payouts. And so I wanted to try and get some athletic credit before that happens. I also used athletic credit from thread up to pick these things up. So yeah. Anyway, next we have these, which are a pair of now, this was something that I really, these are Allison Felix Athleta. Uh, if you don't know who Allison Felix is, she is a gold medal Olympian for the Summer Olympics. Um, quick history lesson. She used to be partnered with uh, Nike. She got pregnant. She was pregnant when she was redoing her contract with Nike and Nike didn't want to pay her. And it was, it was big news. Like it, big news. Athleta was like, come to us. We will support you. We support women. And then she went and started her own line. She has her own like shoe line. Um, she is amazing. So if you see, ever see like the Allison Felix collection, just know she's a badass woman. But anyway, cause I've seen people let go. I don't know who that is when they see Athleta and I'm like, how do you not know? <laughs> and only because I just not, not even because of the fact that she's a gold medal Olympian and she has killed it for the U.S. multiple times. And is I think she is the most decorated summer Olympian, I think, for women, I think. Um, but also because her story was like, it was big what Nike was doing to her and then what Athleta did to like, now we're not going to let that slide kind of thing. But anyway, sorry, I get passionate about that. Um, here's the label and here's the tag because it is a really nice tag. These are the Legend Shorty size 2X. Um, they are just gorgeous shorts with this nice like racing type stripe. Here we go. These are another pair that are like really thick and really nice. Um, they have a hidden back zipper here. I did buy, like I said, I bought these with the intention of I will try them on. If they work for me, awesome. I keep them. If they don't, that's fine too. They have like a faux leather on the exterior as well. <coughs> And I checked, I paid $9 a piece for all of these items. So if I sell them for 30, for me, buying um, retail arbitrage, paying $9 and then flipping them for 35 and up, that's a good return on investment for me. Heck, even if I doubled my money, I'd be happy. With retail arbitrage, I'm only expect, sometimes I'm only expecting to double. Sometimes I only do this to have new with tags items and specific brands in my closet to bring interest because Athleta is popular. All right, here we go. We have some more Athleta here. We, there's a label. These are the printed hustle three inch short in a size two X. Um, I definitely bought these just to flip because this, this little thing in the back, this little flutter, um, this lightweight, this light color isn't necessarily something I would normally wear. It does have like an animal print to it. The zippers are, um, the pockets are zip, like almost like a hidden zipper on your side. These are a two X. These were originally $54 and yeah, they're just, they're really nice. They're really flowy. They have the, um, the wick moisture wicking, like panty and in interior. I loved these and I was like, yep, I want to list those. I like the color on them. And the last thing I bought in store was a dress. For nine dollars y'all I cannot so again here is our label and here is our dress it is a white I'm gonna try this on I will even though white isn't my color this was originally $89 and this is the ace tennis dress so again new with tags it's a tennis dress which these are really like popular um, I almost wish I, I wish I bought another one I was going to and then I just didn't um, so here's the back it has the zipper up the front now I don't think there's pockets in this. I think this is one of those non pocketed. Let's see. Yeah, there's no pockets to this, but that's okay. You know what I mean? Like this is, yeah, I loved it. I loved it. I don't, you know, I wish it was another color for me, but yeah, they had, and they had marked it down to 1997 before this sale, which is still really good. Um, but yeah, I was really excited to pick this up. So in store, I bought one, two, eh two, ow, three, four, five items. Actually, I bought more than that because I also bought socks, but we won't talk about those. 
because I've already murdered the socks. I don't know where the heck they went. I They're the Bombas that they carry in store. Um, yeah, I don't know where they went. <laughs> Okay, so I opened up the, the package itself, but again, everything is actually in more plastic, so uh, I didn't want, that's just really loud and crinkly, but I figured with these, I'll just open this up, you know, whatevs. So let's see, next we have a crop bra. Um, I've actually sold a few that I picked up retail arbitrage from them, so like, I figured, why not? So this one is, a, and this is the one that doesn't, these don't tell you their um markdown price but i know that my average was about ten dollars again so this is a size 3x the ones that i've sold are smaller like at small and extra smaller what i had gotten um so when i saw they had larger sizes i was like heck yeah i'm getting it so this is a gorgeous red uh bra it is their conscious crop in d double d plus and this was originally 59 dollars and it's a gorgeous new with tags bra. Now, I like selling bras and I do decently well with them. Um, I don't normally pay $10 for a bra, but this one, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna list it at 35 and hope for the best. Um, normally I get around $30 for new with tags bras, but again, I normally don't spend that much, so I make a better return, but yeah. Next we have I think this is something I bought with like that goal of let me try it on and then if it doesn't work I'll sell it you know like I talked myself into it I think that's what this one was this is the yeah this is the up tempo top so here we go and let's show you it is so soft so there's that athleta on there here we go so it is a long sleeve top with this it's got a really cool detail for the thumb so it's almost like hidden and then boom there's your little thumb hole it also has this cool rib detail underneath the um the armpit which is nice and it's just this really lightweight super soft long sleeve t-shirt basically uh, originally retailed for 79 dollars can we just talk about how expensive athleta is like good lord i don't think people realize that either because I was talking to somebody and they're like, I don't pick up Athleta, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, um, if you find it for cheap, pick it up. Because as somebody who likes Athleta, I know how expensive it is. I have a credit card to them for that reason. Okay. I bought socks again. These are their super soft fluffy socks. It's a set of three. Did you know they retail for $25 in store? No, I didn't pay that much. Um, I think these were like four dollars, which is why I bought them. I was like, yeah, I'll take, I'll pay that. I'm not paying twenty five, um, but I love these socks. They're so nice. These are for me. In fact, to the to the couch. Next, we have. All right, what do we have? I don't remember. It's been a few weeks since I bought this stuff. Okay. Um. Doo -doo -doo. Oh yeah. Again, another thing that I was like, well, I can try these on. Um, these are the wind down sleep jogger. There's that. Let's see if we have another label. So look at the label in this one, which is different. It is like the pull tag label. So here we go. Pull tag label. And, uh, this one is a size large and it's this gorgeous, almost like brown rust color. It's not rust more like it's a rosy brown. That's what I got. It does have pockets, which is nice. It's a jogger, which is on trend. It's a waffle knit. It has a nice elastic waist. Um, it originally retailed for $54. Heck yeah. Actually, I know this one was under 10 because I was like, oh my God, pants for under $10. I'm in. Next. Oh, is this the last thing? Yes, this is the last item. See, I didn't go too crazy, but. Okay, last but not least is Again, I'm pretty sure this is something I bought with the intention of let me try it on and if it works for me, it's mine. Um, these are a pair of black shorts. These are the Trekkie North short from Athleta. So here is our Athleta logo on the interior. I mean the label on the interior printed on. These were originally $59 and these have a semi-fitted mid-rise waistband. Um, heck yeah. It also has belt loop. No. Yeah. Oh no, not belt loops. It had, well, 
Kind of. Okay, so look, it's this little pouchy thing here that's like a belt loop, but it's, it's not. I don't know. Cool, right? And I'm pretty sure this one has pockets. They're like a hidden zipper. Here's the zipper. So that's what I picked up retail arbitrage, both online and in store, from Athleta. The reason being, one, it was a great sale. Two, I like having the new ties athletic stuff and the higher end athletic stuff in my closet. And it does well for me. Even the non new tag stuff does well for me. Um, does it always? No, of course not. But this is stuff that literally I can wear. Yeah. Am I going to wear it and then sell it? Maybe it won't be new tag then, but whatever. But it's just about the fact that I do have decent luck with Athleta. Um, I think I've sold almost every piece that I've ever picked up from Athleta. I think they have one piece that's still hanging around and it is a very odd color. I have some things that I also, I picked up a bunch of other retail arbitrage that's over there that I just waited for it to sell out. Now this is the same theory. When I went online, this wasn't even part of their sale. They didn't even have this. Uh, when I went online, like I said, I went online to see what else they had. They didn't have this. So there were some things that they didn't even have online anymore. These were just things that were left over in my store. So I can list them right now. Um, and that's the plan. I'm actually going to try these things on and then list if I don't like them. You know, and if I, it's something I end up keeping, wear it, see what happens. Because I've also listed some things lately. So I can always switch out. But let me know what you thought. Would you, do you do retail arbitrage at all? I will admit I used to do it a lot more. But my goal isn't to buy new and flip and retail arbitrage my goal is to save things from the landfill yes make money don't get me wrong money is a portion of doing this like you know this feeds my shopping habit but actually the reason why i did this as well is this is a way for me to maybe pick up a few things for myself and negate that cost basically so like i bought two things i wear one and keep one, you know, I keep one and I flip one and that one item covers the cost of both. You know what I mean? That's what goes through my head, you guys. And the big thing is, is that I have a, a big thing I'm saving for this year. So <clears throat> I'm definitely being more intentional about my shopping and what I'm picking up um, and how much I'm spending on items uh, with this stuff because I did have the gift cards from ThreadUp. I don't feel like I really pulled a lot out of my pocket per se. And I feel like I'll be making money on doing this. However, I will say I won't be doing it very often. And it's got to be a really great sale like this one was. Because I'm pretty sure this was like an extra 30% off of clearance prices. It was a great deal. Um, anyway, let me just say that the thing I'm saving up for is a uh, transatlantic trip. I want to take a steamer from New York to the UK and I probably won't be able to do that one this year but there's literally and this is what inspired me this year on my birthday there is a ship leaving New York going to the UK and then it gives you 10, uh, 13 days in the UK and then you travel back on the same on, you know on a different boat but like same ship. And I just thought that would be an amazing experience. And the cost for the trip is like $6,000. That's both ships, both um, going, coming, and the time there, which is a lot of money. So I want to save for that. That is my goal. I'm hoping to make $6,000 in profit from my reselling in order to do that and treat myself next year. Because in things that I cannot believe I'm about to end, say on the internet, I will be 40 next August. So this August I'll be 39. And this, this trip would be like my 40th birthday present to myself. So that is the goal. That is what I'm saving for. And that is why I'm going to be a little more intentional. But I figured sometimes retail arbitrage will help you with your goals in ways you don't expect. So let me know what you thought. Um, let me know if you would have picked these items up. Do you do retail arbitrage? And if you do, what is your preferred retail arbitrage? Like, where do you shop? What kind of sales do you shop? Do you shop sales like this? Because I think this can be a great way if you're brand specific and you don't mind being brand specific 
versus like a TJ Maxx where there's tons of brands. But let me know your thoughts and I would love to hear them down in the comments. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.